ladies and gentlemen, there's an update on Courtney Clenny, and she is claiming self-defense. Her trial should be coming up this year, and, you know, it, remember, we have heard it all when it comes down to this woman, and the videos that we did see, she was always the aggressor. And even their friends said the same thing. Whenever they got into an argument out in public, she was always the one that was causing the entire thing. And if you remember, when she was arrested, she claimed she tossed the knife across the room and it plunged in Christian Obumselli's chest. But when they did the forensics, they said, no, she was directly in front of him because the knife went in a downward uh, motion into his chest. So, I mean, I'm going to show you a clip of her interrogation with the police. And I, I'm still picking up vibes that this woman is full of crap. She is just trying to say what she feels is going to be believable. But I don't believe during her interrogation, she told the truth at all. And I think she continues to lie, hoping that somewhere along the way, people are going to just believe her. I don't believe her at all. But I'll show you this clip and I'll be right back with the rest of my commentary. If you like, if you, if he's choking me and he's angry enough, he might like, or, I mean, this is different, I think, but if he's like choking me or like pinning me or something and I can't breathe, he might go too long. So I grab my, sorry, I grab my, I grab my knife and I said, don't come anywhere closer to me. I had absolutely no intention of using it. I'm on the phone with my mom and he's coming at me like he's going to grab either the phone or like the knife or something. And so I was just like, I, I was like, don't, don't come any closer. It's coming at me and I drew it. And I meant for it to go. How far away was he? From, well, I was by my fridge and he was like by the edge of one of the chairs of the sofa. Um, okay. Like comparing to what he is? I'm, I'm trying to think in my head. I'm trying to make the... Was he closer than I am? No. What, was this further? All right, so you heard what she said in her video when she was being questioned by the police. And as I said before, I don't believe nothing that Courtney Clinney says. I really think she's full of crap. She's in a desperate situation. She's in jail and she's going to do and say anything she thinks that's going to free her. So the lawyers for the OnlyFans model, Courtney Clenny, who allegedly, she didn't allegedly, she murdered her boyfriend in their Miami apartment, claim there's new evidence that she acted in self-defense. Clenny, 26, is charged with second-degree murder in the April 3rd, 2022 death of her beau, Christian Obamselli, 28 who she said claimed he was attacking her before she plunged a knife into his chest. Now, what happened to you tossed the knife and it went in his chest? Now you're admitting you plunged that knife in his chest. Okay, so her attorneys, they said there are new evidence in the trial that's going to prove that she was a victim of abuse and acted in self-defense. Now, some of y'all might remember in previous videos I had spoke about, they got into an altercation in Las Vegas and she got arrested back in 2021. So, I mean, these two, they, I, Talk about a toxic relationship. This is a real, true, toxic relationship. And if Christian Obamselli had even a fraction of sense, he would have got out of this long before she would have had the opportunity to even murder him. But for some unknown reason, he kept going back to this 
toxic, abusive relationship. So when you see the interrogation, she's telling the police officers that uh, she said to him, get your hands off of me. When they got up in the room, clumps of her hair were on the floor. She said, uh-huh. And those are extensions that she got on. That's not that's not her hair. But, you know, they always talk about black women and, and stuff like that. But they never say anything about the women like Courtney Clenny that do this notoriously. In fact, they are the ones that started the trend. So Fredco also noted, this is one of her attorneys, the amount of time it took police to arrest his client after the cryptocurrency trader's body's death. Yeah, remember she was walking free for four months and no one was even trying to arrest her. Many of you might remember that too. A lot of people were outraged over that and she got confronted in public. I think she was at a hotel with her father and a black woman actually confronted her and was calling her a murderer and told her she should be in jail. But yeah, it took them four months before they would even attempt to arrest her. So the footage was taken from the couple's condo and we saw that elevator dispute. She was definitely hidden and pounding on him as the aggressor and we saw that video that video went viral all over social media when she was doing that so what the media has portrayed as a snapshot in time so the lawyers are trying to say everybody's got the wrong conception about her you know in the media but in my opinion, the videos of her screaming at him and all that stuff speaks for itself. All right. So if you actually look at the first few seconds of the video, which cut off most news media cycles, what you see is actually she does not want him to come into the elevator to go upstairs. There is only one key fob actually you see him walking in the elevator first all right let me let me just go back let me just go back to this there is only one key fob in order to be able to get up into this apartment and if y'all remember when the video faded she was still walking behind him and hitting him I mean, I don't know, you know, it. that's not it, it, if so what they're trying to play is don't believe what you saw on the video. Believe what we're telling you. You know, they're trying to pull that crap again. Man, I showed so many videos of the blood on the floor and everything. So it just goes into her um, OnlyFans and what she made on social media. She made over $3 million um, back in 2020. She had 2 million followers on Instagram. So it just goes over stuff like that. So um, when detectives told her that Christian Obamselli did not make it, she broke down and cried. I remember watching that video. In fact, I showed that video. So her lawyers have pointed out that she had asked for a restraining order against Obamselli days before the fatal fight. And a security guard in the building told police he once saw him rush at her rushing at you when did that become a crime what is that you can't it's not an assault it's not a battery rushing at her so that means he just walked up quickly to her 
That's not a crime. Y'all crack me up. Y'all be trying to make crimes. Everything a crime when it's a black man. That's what y'all do. So anyway, last week, Obamselli cousin and legal team told reporters that there were six calls related to disturbances involving the couple between January and March of 2022. And the thing is, um, the neighbors were complaining about their fights. They had so many fights. The people that live all around them were complaining. Yeah, you can imagine how loud that was because you, you can hear how loud she was on the videos. Okay, so uh, people called 911 to report violent and threats, according to the lawyers who claim Clenny was the one at fault. This is the family's attorney saying this. So if y'all remember, she tried to get out on bail and she was refused. The judge said, uh-uh, you're not getting out. You know, and plus she's a flight risk. She even tried to run uh, to what rehab in Hawaii. And I was like, nah, you know, yeah, she's a flight risk. You definitely can't trust Courtney Clenny at all. So the forensic evidence is clear that Christian was not the aggressor in any way. And there's one aggressor in this case, Obamselli said, you know, I'm sorry, his family said, um, and the attorney, Michael Haggard, this is according to the outlet, the late boyfriend's cousin, Karen Egbunga, Uh, this is what she said. She says, we lost so much just beyond Toby. My aunt has never been the same. She is marked with a sadness and anger and grief that will likely never go away. Last month, Obamselli's family filed a wrongful death lawsuit against Clenny to cover funeral costs and other expenses as a result of his death. Also named in the suit, which allege a negligence, are the Homeowners Association, the company that manages the condo complex and its security company. So her attorney describes their wrongful death lawsuit as a money grab. No, that's usually what happens when you end someone's life. You know, people will file that wrongful death lawsuit. I mean, that's done all the time. So that must be a money grab for everybody that does that then. Preto said the civil suit will likely not proceed until the criminal case ends. Yeah, that's usually how it's done. Clenny, who has pled not guilty, remains in jail without bail, awaiting trial with a status conference set for July. Okay, so look like she may be going to trial, I mean, just in the next few months. So I'm definitely going to keep up with this one. You know, it was such a big, high-profile case. And like I said, they took forever to even get around to arresting her. You can clearly tell if they could have let her go and get away with everything, they would have let her do it easily. Easily. Please tell me what you think about this video. Ladies and gentlemen, please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.